In Virginia, it is now a criminal offense to attend church services of more than 10 people. Governor Ralph Northam's executive order went into effect this week. It makes any non-essential gathering a misdemeanor, punishable by up to a year in jail or a fine of $2,500. Correspondent Mark Irons reports. As the coronavirus sweeps across the country, state governors are taking action to limit the spread. In Virginia, Executive Order 53 says all gatherings of more than 10 people are banned statewide. And that order includes religious gatherings. In Virginia and in states throughout the country, the Catholic Church has suspended public masses. Without normal means to gather in worship or prayer, the faithful are looking for new ways to come together in community. We're hosting online Bible studies. We use a video platform to do the Divine Mercy Chaplet every day at 3 p.m. Those are just some of the ways Belen Loza, a Focus missionary, stays connected with her students. Focus sends out young adults to share the gospel on college campuses. Loza was stationed at Columbia University in New York City, but now she carries out her mission remotely back at home in Texas. We're not able to meet students at the dining hall for a meal or grab coffee with them, but it hasn't changed our mission to reach out to them, to spend time with them, to pray with them. And we're seeing the clergy get creative. This priest in Bowie, Maryland, hears drive through confessions, leaving room for social distance. It's understandable why precautions are in place. And it is genuinely uh, necessary to protect the public safety because of a, of a huge health crisis. But at the same time, Dr. Thomas Farr, president of the Religious Freedom Institute in Washington, says deeming church gatherings criminal in Virginia, even in a time like this, raises concerns, especially when places like laundromats, pet stores, and liquor stores are being considered essential. The explicit proposition that church services and Catholic masses are not essential compared to these other things is unacceptable. In Washington, Mark Irons, EWTN News Nightly.